Next up is the AC40 Pro, third round of races in this category. So far, each of the two races won by Ross Maguire. Last time out, the podium finishes were Maguire, Belford and O'Shea in that order. O'Shea full credit after a first race crash, getting back up and getting back up onto the podium as well. He'll start alongside Ross Maguire on the front row. Two wins out of two for Maguire, who leads the point standings. Evan Belford starts third on the grid. He sits second in the points as things are so far. This has been one of the least predictable categories because, uh, well, after Eddie O'Shea had his first race crash, Johnny Garner's had a first race crash as well. Uh, we also had a non-scoring effort from Aidan Davey last time out. So uh, in terms of the points, it's been the riders who've been the most consistent so far who've broken clear this weekend. And it's only Ross Maguire who's really been able to make an impact in the uh, championship points, in the weekend's points, of course, we're at the first round of this 2017 Cool Fab Racing Mini Bike Championship. So it's Maguire, the winner of each of the two races so far, who goes on pole. Alongside him, Eddie O'Shea, 16 points after a single point scoring effort so far here today. Second row of the grid is with Evan Belford in P3 and Aidan Davey alongside him. Davey, brilliant first time out, a non-scorer last time around. Third row of the grid, Johnny Garnis, great to see him back up to his feet after a DNF first time out and with a fourth position finish in his second ride. He'll want to leave this weekend with a podium finish. Owen Meller took one first time out. He completes the third row of the grid. We're into line and we're ready to go. Watch for Ollie Walker as well behind one of the more consistent riders starting in P7. The front two riders edgy as we prepare to get underway and even edgier further back down the grid. Sandy Horn from P10 and the others have all gone away well and smoothly as well. Ross Maguire, though, hasn't made the start from pole position. It's Eddie O'Shea who's broken clear. Aidan Davey has missed the start as well, dropping back off the line. It's Evan Belford who sits within the top three positions. But the main position change was Eddie O'Shea's blinding start from P2 to get the better of Ross Maguire, who's trying to respond now from second place. That's been the case in uh, each of the two races so far in this AC40 Pro category, with Ross Maguire not really making the start from the front row of the grid. Even though he snatched pole position, it hasn't really worked in his favour. Here we come through onto the hangar straight. Maguire making the cutback. He's got the momentum and the inside line down towards Raymond's. Giving it full speed down into the bottom hairpin of the circuit, but he can't get alongside. He seemed to have the pace coming off the Dell, but couldn't make it count. And they're side by side for fourth positions with uh, Johnny Garnas ahead of Owen Meller and relegating Aidan Davey further back. So Davey now down to sixth position, but they were side by side for fourth. We've got two groups really here as we see another change for fourth, fifth and sixth positions. And Aidan Davey making the pass down the inside of Owen Meller. Manages to claim the inside ground as well. So he's made that move stick. There's a group of six of them now together. All the way from fourth, right the way down to the fringes of the top ten. All closely packed. The front three have broken clear. It's Ross Maguire who's made the move to take up the race lead. Second place is with Eddie O'Shea, but it might not be for long because Evan Belford is making a move here from third position. O'Shea covers it off down into Raymond's once again. Then there's that group behind them of six or seven riders all tussling for positions, but no change this lap around through Raymond's either. So it's Maguire who made the overtaking manoeuvre and set a new fastest lap of the race there on lap number two, getting the better of Eddie O'Shea. Half a second the gap between them as they came over the start-finish line. Can Maguire make the break while Belford challenges O'Shea? And how will things work out in that group of six riders? Now stretching all the way back from Johnny Garnis in fourth position, right the way down to the lower reaches of the top ten. Owen Meller dropping back last lap around with Aidan Davey, Ollie Walker, Dylan Meller all gaining ground on lap number two. Down towards Raymond's for the third time of asking, with Maguire still in front. Evan Belford making no ground on Eddie O'Shea, who sits second. Then a bit of a gap to fourth position, where Aidan Davey has passed Johnny Garnis to come through. And Owen Meller has passed Dylan Meller in the race for seventh position. Those are the only main overtaking manoeuvres of that last lap. Second and third visibly close on the circuit. Was uh, four-tenths of a second between them 
at the end of the last lap, but to my eyes, from up here in race control, it looks visibly smaller than that, the gap between second and third positions. O'Shea versus Belford in second and third places. Coming through the Dell, more or less together. Belford making progress. Looking up the inside, coming onto the hangar straight. He's got the momentum, but can he carry it all the way down the inside? No, not close enough once again. Has to settle for third position for now. Then there's a bit of a gap to Aidan Davey in fourth position, although he's trying to break clear of a two-way tussle now for fifth position between Johnny Garnas and Ollie Walker. Garnas in a lower position than he was at this time of asking uh, last time out. He got the better of both Walker and Miller last time out in race number two. But Aidan Davey it was who missed out in race two. And this time around, he's in a strong fourth position. Ross Maguire, the leader, setting another new fastest lap of the race. Last lap around the number 22 bike out in front. Eddie O'Shea in second, now over a second in arrears. Evan Belford less than half a second from P2. Aidan Davey. Dropping back from the front three, but leading that train of riders from fourth down to the edge of the top ten. Maguire still clear. No change in the battle between O'Shea and Belford. Still close for positions five and six. Johnny Garnis ahead of Ollie Walker still. But that's where the next overtaking manoeuvre could be. As they wend their way through the opening couple of turns. It looked to me as though Aidan Davey was slowing there. And we've got a rider off the circuit. We've got yellow flags out, and I might not have been wrong about that either. So one of the front runners dropping back as this race goes on. Up front, it's looking good for Ross Maguire to take a third consecutive victory. Eddie O'Shea will put his season back on track with a second consecutive podium after a uh, DNF following a first race crash. Ross Maguire just working his way through. Lap traffic, the race for second at the moment between Eddie O'Shea and Evan Belford. Then that gap to the rest of the pack, Johnny Garner, Ollie Walker, Owen Mella, Dylan Mella. And the overtaking manoeuvre that I suggested was only a matter of time, has occurred down into Raymond's. Looking for the cutback though up the inside, Ollie Walker. Garner has made the move. Owen Mella dropping back, Ollie Walker uh, slipping down to sixth position. So I said that Johnny Garner was the man on the move. And he has made that overtaking manoeuvre and up into fourth position. Good move down the inside into Raymond. Ollie Walker dropping back. But not as much as Aidan Davey, who, as I said, retired from the race, just through the hook, off the circuit. He'd already dropped one position down into turn one. It looked as though he was slowing and then he stopped altogether, retiring from the race and forcing out the yellow flags briefly. Those have come in now, enabling the race to continue. We've got a good battle for second. This is the closest that Belford has been to Eddie O'Shea as they come down the hangar straight. But still not close enough. Three bike lengths the distance between the two of them. We've got another yellow flag situation uh, coming into the hook, which is where these riders are going to head towards next, the front running pack. Eddie O'Shea gaining ground on Ross Maguire last time around. Now there's less than a second separating the top three. Maguire's dropped back into the battle between O'Shea and Evan Belford. Belford trying to get up the inside of O'Shea but can't do so. The twisty infield section, the bomber straight and Surtees before they can really wind it back on up the Lancaster curve and back towards the Dell with Maguire leading O'Shea in second, Belford in third. Johnny Garnas has won that race for fourth position ahead of Owen Meller and Ollie Walker with successive passes. And at the expense of the retired Aidan Davey, who's still watching on as the riders continue around him. Disappointment for him and a frustrating weekend continues for Aidan Davey after his non-scoring ride in round two of the races. Close in the run down to the line it's going to be. As we see Ross Maguire holding on, Eddie O'Shea takes P2. Evan Belford collecting third position. Both O'Shea and Belford setting their new personal bests on the final lap. But it wasn't enough to get to Ross Maguire. And it's Maguire who takes the win. O'Shea in second, Evan Belford in third. And as I said, Johnny Garnas had won that battle for uh, fourth position with some excellent overtaking manoeuvres on Owen Meller and Ollie Walker. And while it all went wrong for Aidan Davey with a uh, mechanical coming into the closing stages of that race. But there was a moment there where it looked as though Ross Maguire might come under attack 
on the final lap in the end Eddie O'Shea was uh, held at bay and Evan Belford couldn't make an attack either on the inside of O'Shea for second so the positions well it was still exciting even though the positions were decided fairly early on in favour of Ross Maguire Eddie O'Shea holding on ahead of Evan Belford and then that separate race in uh, fourth position with Johnny Garners uh, taking advantage of that mechanical retirement for Aidan Davey and coming through with overtakes on Owen Meller and Ollie Walker to take fourth Owen Mello rounds out the top five in fifth position. If you think mini motorbikes are just for juniors, think again. The seniors are up next.